Here's something fun you can try immediately in Mixcraft. You don't have to have a lot of musical knowledge. Um, but I went to the sound tab. I'm sorry, to the library tab. And I then clicked on the free sound uh, search online section of the library. So you hear it says free sound. We're searching for free sound. I then did a search on Mixcraft Beat, or it could be whatever you want. Um, and then I found this particular hip-hop-ish type beat created by someone that used Mixcraft called Felon. And I click it, and here's what it sounds like. So it sounded pretty cool, so I dragged it into the performance panel. And uh, once in the performance panel, I can click it again, you know, and it plays. But what's something pretty, another fun thing to do is then to split that into half notes and then trigger each half note um, with the keyboard and come up with a new uh, mishmashed uh, sliced uh, beat from triggering the different sections depending on how you feel like it. So I am looking at this sound in the sound tab. I click on the slot that I'd like to place my slices to and the beginning of the slices too. There's eight slots right here. I hit slice to and I'm going to go to the performance panel and I'm going to create, I'm going to slice by beats every one half note, every half note. It's going to create eight slices. It's going to the performance panel. I hit OK. Now I have these different slices. So now I'm going to do something really fun that anybody can do. You don't even need a musical keyboard. Okay, I had a phone call. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, anyways, uh, one of the fun things you can do without a MIDI keyboard is a use your computer keyboard and map these to various keys on your screen or to control the different sections here. So let's just hit MIDI, learn. Everything turns purple. That's cool. I'm going to click on one item. That's now the item we're going to learn. So I press a key on my keyboard, A, and there it shows up. Click on the next one with my mouse, press S, and you get the idea. Uh, and then I turn off MIDI Learn, and now let the fun begin. idea I can turn off the metronome of course and then actually record that as a big loop or a big uh, section here so what I have to do to, to actually record that using Mixcraft 8 is hit the arm on the performance panel um, and now if I hit record um, I'll do a count in so I can get it exactly right I'll do one measure count in I hit record and cue up the first one Pressing A. things I could do is I could actually cue it to a higher resolution than one, one 
half notes, I can do eighth notes if I wanted to. It might be a little bit different. Um, and I will just, I'll have to move past this to get my playback indicator past that so I don't hear that. And then here we go. Anyways, that wasn't that great, but um, you can listen to the thing that I did already. I can zoom into that. Hide the performance panel, more, more room there. I could edit it up, and if I wanted to make it into an, an its own clip, um, I will delete these two sections here to make it an even number of measures. And then I could actually right click and merge. Now I have my own sound based off that original Mixcraft user's uh, submission there. That's a little, little uh, fun tip. Thanks.